Hello, Seichi Arata. There is a wrong way of thinking. And when we say something is wrong, uh, the cancelling mob is always there to say that there is no such thing as wrong, there is only different. However, when it comes to a way of thinking, there is definitely a right way and there is a wrong way. Wrong is connected to error, and error is a word that comes from Latin errare, which means to walk without direction, to deviate from the original path, to follow a bumpy road, to steer away from the desired destination, to be a wanderer. A wanderer is someone who wanders, who doesn't have a planned destiny. So the wrong way of thinking is the way that deviates you from your goal with words that are wrong, words that are irresponsible. Correct is also a Latin word, correctus. So the right way of thinking is the way that puts you on the right track, on the right direction, in charge of your own life, taking responsibility for your own actions. And you can see the difference between the wrong way of thinking and the right way of thinking in the words that you use. Generally, people who think wrong, they use words that indicate a lack of responsibility. Here are four examples. The team members took a long time to submit the report. The government's new law made my life worse. The customers are not spending this month. The glass fell over. Pay attention to the structure of these sentences. The sentence is not conjugated in the first person singular, I. The subject of the phrase is always someone else. It is the team members, it is the government, it is the customers, it is even the force of gravity. The subject is the other, and the other, they have the most power over the verb. So here, the first person, I, is passive. I suffered from the team being late. I suffered from the change of regulations. I suffered from customers not buying anything. I suffered from the false gravity that pushed the glass onto the floor. The right way of thinking would be, I did not manage the project well. I didn't receive the report from the team within the deadline. I didn't adapt to the new laws of the government in time so because I didn't do the necessary research. I am experimenting with new strategies for advertising to overcome the drop in sales. I still haven't found a solution. I tipped the glass over because I was not paying attention. When you think the right way, you take responsibility. You clear about where you can make improvements. Improving your project management skills, improving the way you are aware of new legislation, improving your sales techniques, being more attentive. When you think the wrong way, you position yourself as a passive victim who has no power of agency, cannot interfere with the outcome. So this is the wrong way of thinking. You cannot improve if you think wrong. All it takes to stop thinking in the wrong way and start thinking in the right way, is to simply change the words that you use. This will put you on the right path towards reaching the destination you want and taking charge of your own life. Do your words make you sound childish? Change your vocabulary for better results. Children naturally avoid responsibility. They have parents, they have guardians to provide protection, to solve problems. It is common to hear children say, oh, the toy broke. The tomato sauce got on my clothes. They are the ones who started the fight. Children lack maturity, they lack agency, therefore they behave selfishly, as if they are the most important thing in the world. From this childish perspective, unwanted things simply happen out of nowhere. And part of the explanation is that the child is in desire for love, they lack love, they want to be accepted, they want to be loved by their parents. They believe that if they say, I broke my toy. They are less deserving of love. The child does not want to be punished. They don't want to be perceived as inadequate or distracted. So they use, they choose the passive form, my toy broke. However, when the child does something good that they will be praised for, they know it is important to emphasize the verb with the first person singular, I. I fixed my toy. And so they get the credit, they get recognition, they get admiration, they get love, they get praise. Ideally, these children will mature, they will learn to take responsibility, learning to not depend on mom and dad. But the problem is that when this doesn't happen, they turn into weak adults. We are infantilized when we continue to avoid taking the blame for whatever happens to our lives. Dependency on father and mother figures ends up being transferred to a dependency on the government. That's why the official name given to this is 
paternalism. So just uh, stop for a moment and think whether you often use phrases like these in which you place yourself as a victim of events. Whenever you use these kind of phrases, you are behaving like a child who's waiting for a father or mother figure to help them. This figure could be the government, could be your spouse, could be your boss, could be anyone else who takes responsibility but you. So stop using sentence structures where things happen to you. Because it implies that you are not responsible. Just imagine a sales professional who often uses phrases like Yeah, the sales are low this month. Or the staff are not cooperating. And what do these sentences say about this salesperson? So when he or she blames, that transfers the blame, the results to others, they are indirectly communicating that they are irresponsible. And the opposite is also true. When they're having a good month at work, well, the same salesperson might say, I sold a lot this month. I led the team in that project. From childhood, we understand these concepts and we choose to use the active or the passive forms when it is convenient, depending on the result. That is why we say, I got an A, I got a 10 at school and when we have a good result. And then we say, the teacher gave me a zero when we have a bad result. This is a strategy that works well for children who are protected by their parents. But in adult life, this is the wrong way to think, and it leads to problems in all areas. Personal finances, work, relationships. When we say that we are innocent and that events beyond our control are the ones to blame, this implies that we have no power to influence. The person is indirectly assuming that they don't have the power over these factors that they cannot influence their own results. People who think in a passive way do not perceive opportunities ahead. See, passive thinking leaves you out of the problem, but also out of the solution. You miss opportunities that could be seized. If the work was not completed because there was not enough time, well, the logical solution would be to have more time. If sales are bad, well, the solution would be that the buyers should decide to buy more. If the team doesn't collaborate, well, they should take the initiative to collaborate. If traffic is bad, the solution would be to not exist traffic anymore. In other words, you are not part of the solution that is necessary to change the result and therefore you cannot do anything. In fact, you should not do anything. Because if I participate in trying to change, it might be as well my fault, you see? And I need to be consistent and maintain the narrative that I am the only innocent in that story. The way we think needs to be logical, needs to be coherent. So if I think that sales are bad because of the buyers, well, then I'm not going to do anything different because it's not my fault and sales will continue to be bad. Notice that in this example, I'm using language that takes the blame away from myself. So the logical consequence is that I don't have power. I position myself as a passive subject. You know, see, things happen around me all the time. I'm just a victim of chance, luck, or the people, the circumstances. By not getting involved in finding a solution, I am in a comfortable, convenient, safe position. But there is also a price to pay. I don't have the power to change. Do you understand the wrong way of thinking? When you are not the one who chose to do or to not do something, it is not your fault, but also you have no power to change or to improve. In other words, you end up settling into a false comfort zone and you don't grow as a person. So. If you want to take control of your own life, it is now time to change your attitude and start using words with a better logic that will help you put in charge of your own results. Take responsibility. Make yourself part of the solution. For the next few days, try to change the way you think. Think as though you are in control of your own results. This is personal development. This is you developing as an adult being responsible and in charge of yourself. And the best way to think the right way is to use assertive words that make you responsible for your results. Words are the main ingredients of your thinking. So if you use words that place you as a victim of circumstances, this is how you will think and how you're going to act. At the same time, if you use words that place you 
as the author of your own reality. You acquire power of agency. You become the true protagonist of your own life. You create your own future. When you take responsibility for the problem, you also make yourself part of the solution. So, improve your internal language. The language of the thoughts you have with yourself. Always think about what it is that you can do differently in each situation to regain responsibility, to regain power in building your future. The way you speak influences the way you think and act. Instead of using passive structures that place you as a victim, try speaking in an active way. Taking full responsibility for what happens in your life. Taking the lead in your own life is an essential step for anyone who is interested in personal development. It is not the only step. In the personal development course, you have access to a complete roadmap to enter a process of continuous improvement and develop yourself as a person. You can see a special lesson right now from the course by visiting the link arata.se forward slash personal development.